before we begin Mass, I'd like to just say that we are um, going to be uh, opening up Masses with very limited numbers of people. We're being allowed to have Masses for 10 and under. So please check the website and look for flock notes with explanations on how we're going to do that as we formulate a plan today. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Whom should I dread? When those who do evil draw near, they stumble and fall. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Today's Mass is being offered for the repose of the soul of Paul Finney. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us first call to mind our sins and ask God for pardon and peace. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may, at your prompting, discern what is right, and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. The brook near where Elijah was hiding ran dry, because no rain had fallen in the land. So the Lord said to Elijah, Move on to Zarephath of Sidon and stay there. I have designated a widow there to provide for you. He left and went to Zarephath. As he arrived at the entrance of the city, a widow was gathering sticks there. He called out to her, Please bring me a small cupful of water to drink. She left to get it, and he called out after her, Please bring along a bit of bread. She answered, As the Lord your God lives, I have nothing baked. There is only a handful of flour in my jar, and a little oil in my jug. Just now, I was collecting a couple of sticks to go in and prepare something for myself and my son. When we have eaten it, we shall die. Elijah said to her, Do not be afraid. Go and do as you propose. But first, make me a little cake and bring it to me. Then you can prepare something for yourself and your son. For the Lord, the God of Israel, says, The jar of flour shall not go empty, nor the jug of oil run dry, until the day when the Lord sends rain upon the earth. She left and did as Elijah had said. She was able to eat for a year, and Elijah and her son as well. The jar of flour did not go empty, nor the jug of oil run dry, as the Lord had foretold through Elijah. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Lord, let your face shine on us. Lord, Lord let, let your face shine on us. When I call, answer me, O my just God, <clears throat> you who relieve me when I am in distress. Have pity on me, and hear my prayer. Men of rank, how long will you be dull of heart? Why do you love what is vain and seek after falsehood? Lord, Lord let Jesus. your face shine on us. Know that the Lord does wonders for his faithful one. The Lord will hear me when I call upon him. Tremble and sin not. Reflect upon your beds in silence. Lord, Lord let, let your face shine on us. O Lord, let the light of your countenance shine upon us. You put gladness into my heart, more than when grain and wine abound. Lord, Lord let, let your face shine on us. Let's be in your heart and your wish for this gospel word in my Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. 
Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth, but if salt loses its taste, with what can it be seasoned? It is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and then put it under a bushel basket. It is set on a lampstand, where it gives light to all in the house, just so your light must shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In our Gospel for today, we have a continuation of Jesus' Sermon on the Mount. Yesterday we had the Beatitudes, and today Jesus gives us these images of salt and light. And it's on this image of light that I'd like to focus today's reflection. Jesus says, you are the light of the world. Now, if Jesus says that we are the light, it is because we have really received that light from somewhere else. Now, like a candle, we can't light our own selves. That light comes from somewhere else. And that source is God himself. You know, we profess every Sunday, God from God, light from light, true God from true God. So when Jesus says to let our light shine before others, it's really his light that we're showing forth. At our baptism, we received uh, the light from the Easter candle. You know, our fathers or our godfathers or whoever lit our baptismal candle from that Easter candle because that was when we were first commissioned to be that light for the entire world. So how do we share that light? How do we go out into the world and share that light and shine that light before others? Well, Jesus already gave us the answer yesterday in the Beatitudes. To be poor in spirit, to be merciful, to be a peacemaker. In short, to be like Jesus himself. To use uh, an analogy, if you've ever experienced a power outage in your home and you had to light a candle, you'll notice that that candle is most intense, the light is most intense closest to the flame. And as soon as you back away from it, the intensity is less. And so that is what Jesus wants us to do. He wants us to stay close to the source, which is himself. He is the source of that light that we're called to shine forth before others. And so we pray for that inspiration uh, in this Mass today to be that light in our world. Let us pray. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and all bishops, that they may continue to guide us in the faith, guided by the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our government leaders, that they may work to establish laws of peace and work towards the common good. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for an end to the coronavirus pandemic. We pray for all essential workers who are on the front lines battling this pandemic. We pray for their health and their safety. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for an end to uh, violence, uh, racism, looting, and unjust uh, discrimination in our communities, that we may be united together in the light that is Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our beloved dead. In a particular way, we pray for Paul Finney, for whom this Mass is offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you gave us your Son, the light of the world, illuminating our hearts and created the great love that you have given us in him, so that we may share in him through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands have become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands that we got our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, 
that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you, and lead us to grow in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Wilton, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant Paul, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who is united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him. And with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, everybody. Peace, mercy. Peace, Sally. Peace, Mom. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. 
My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. My God is my saving strength. Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil and lead us to do what is right. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.